All right, so today's sing-along with ASL is a song called How Great Thou Art. It's a church hymn, and I chose it for today because of a conversation I had with my mom. And I thought it was really appropriate because when you look outside right now in the springtime, you can see the wonder of God's world all just waking up and growing in bloom. And also there's a lot of rainstorms in the spring as, you know, things need water to grow. And isn't it amazing how all of these things work together in the world that God made? So this song is called How Great Thou Art. And it's about how we can see God's power and greatness on display in the universe. So I'm going to sing it and then I'll slow down and break it down so you can sing and sign at home. Hopefully I don't mess it up again. All right. Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder. Thy power throughout. I'm gonna get this one right. The you nope, wrong way. The universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art! How great thou art! Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. All right. So, first part of that song, we're going to slow down. The first lines are, O Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder. So we're gonna do our sign for God. And the sign for awesome and awe and great actually is the same sign used in different contexts. But the sign is, you're gonna take your hands, you're gonna go up and then slightly out. Just like you are praising God just like it's almost like a praise sign this is awe awesome and even great like you are it, it really is like a praise um, kind of symbol so um, so oh Lord my God when I in awesome wonder consider all the work worlds thy hands have made so to sign the word consider which really just means think about you're going to take your finger and you're going to rub it on your temple like this. You are considering, you're thinking, you're wondering. This is actually the sign for all of those things. So, well, thinking is just, anyway, wondering is this. So you're considering all the worlds that his hands have made. And to sign hands, you're going to take your hands and make B's, sign those sign for B in ASL, and then you're going to are just kind of blocking off where your hands are. I should have just said blocking off. You're blocking off where your hands are just like this. So let's start from the beginning and we'll go through all those signs again. Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the works thy hands have made. World. Um, the next part is going to be I see the stars. So to sign the C, you're going to take your two fingers just like this. And sometimes you see people going like this, like they're looking at you. It's similar to that, except you're going to gesture off to the side so you can still see when you're in conversation with somebody. So, but so C, you're going to take your fingers and you're going to like that, just like you're looking at something. Oh. And then stars, you're going to take your two fingers, put them up here, and just poke. Like, oh, look at the stars. You're poking the stars. Yeah. The next part says that you hear the rolling thunder. So to sign here, you're going to take your finger and you're going to tap your ear twice. Because that's what we used to hear is our ears. 
and then you're going to sign thunder in this way. You're going to take your finger, you're going to tap your ear one more time because you can hear thunder rumbling. And then you're going to take your hands into fists and you're going to shake them like this. And that's thunder. So let's start from the beginning and go through all of those again. <clears throat> oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the roaring thunder. The next part says, Thy power throughout the universe displayed. Sorry, there's a cat over here. Thy power throughout the universe displayed. So to sign power, you know sometimes like if we're talking about how someone is strong, we'll make a muscle like this because we're looking at their muscle right here. The sign is kind of derived from that. It's very similar. But instead, you are going to take your hand over where that muscle would be, and you're going to mimic that there's a muscle there, just like that. So that's, that's power, strength, <clears throat> power. So. And then universe, and this is one that I kind of struggle with um, but we're going to get there together. So universe, you're going to take your fingers like you're making a U, like we've talked about this week, and you are going to start with your dominant hand on the bottom. Don't worry about it too much. And then you bring it, yeah, so you're going to bring it away from your body and circle over your other U tap to the bottom. So take two U's, bring them together. This one's going to stay in one place. You're going to take your dominant hand U, you're going to bring it away from your body, over the other U, and then tap. Universe. Alright, so we'll go through the entire first verse together and then we'll do the chorus and that's what we're going to leave it for today. So. Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the roaring thunder, what rolling? Thy power throughout the universe displayed. So the chorus goes, then sings my soul, my savior God to thee. So to sign sings, you're going to take your two fingers, like you have your you, you're going to touch your mouth, and you're going to make them flutter like a butterfly as they fly away from you. All right, sings. And then to sign soul, you're going to take your fingers like this, like you're holding something in front of your chest. You take your other two fingers like you're pinching it, and you're going to bring it up in a wavy line up your body like this. The sign for soul is actually the same as the sign for spirit and a couple other things, but this is soul. So, then sings my soul, and then we're going to say my Savior God to thee. I figured since we're, we're singing to our Savior, we're going to, we're going to sign Jesus, so just our normal Jesus sign. So. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. And then to say how great thou art, which really is just a fancy old-fashioned way of saying, wow, how great are you? You're really great. We are going to actually do the same sign as we did before when we were doing awe or awesome. It's the same sign. Um, you just take your hands up like so. So let's go through the whole thing again. You'll notice I keep messing up words here and there, and that's because um, growing up with hearing problems, you know how Miss Clayton has those little special machines that go in her ears to help her hear? Well, growing up, I learned the words differently because I heard them differently. So even now as an adult, sometimes I mess up the words a little bit um, because I'm so used to having grown up with 
saying them a different way. So I'm going to try really hard to not mess up the words and we'll go through this one again and we're going to get it down together. So here we go. All right. Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the world thy hands hath made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Yeah. So, um, I hope that you can go ahead and sing this at home. It's a really uplifting song, and I think we all need something a little uplifting right now. <laughs> 